Welcome to my Skopje travel guide. It's a great city to come explore. It's cheap, great value for money. Have you checked my North Macedonia video yet? If not, this is the link. Please do check it because it has tons of information that's very helpful before you plan your visit. So, click up now. Hello from beautiful North Macedonia. I just landed in Skopje. It was barely five minutes ago. And I already love this place. It's so nice and green like the rest of the Balkans. This is actually my favorite part of the entire world. I love Balkans. So, I got off the plane. Um, it was really easy to go through immigration. If you want more information on visa, you can check my video on everything Macedonia and then I just got the bag if you have a drone you must declare it it's really important because I do and I did and now I'm going to the city center the airport is very nice and new um, it has a little shop where you can buy a sim card but it was closed so I'm gonna do that from the city center there are ATMs and you can, I just withdrew some money and this is the bus that takes me to the center of Skopje. So let's go explore Skopje, the beautiful capital of North Macedonia. I've heard it's a bit over the top with the statues, so I'm really excited already. Let's go. It took barely 20 to 25 minutes in the shuttle and I am in the city center. And it looks quite nice already. So I'm gonna go buy myself a SIM card because the shop at the airport was closed and then go check my hotel and then go to a little adventure because it's Sunday today. So I wanna go and explore this place. It's like a half day trip. Now I'm going to tell you what it is. Let's go and find out. I stayed in the luxury Skopje apartments, which were amazing, especially the view I got was spectacular. And a massive thank you to Ivan for being so amazing and helpful. I'm heading to the Wodno Mountain and the Millennium Cross. It was a fun half day thing. And if you want to see more details on how to do it, you should definitely check out my video about Wodno Mountain and the Matka Canyon. It was an interesting day. I am really tired now. I woke up at 6 a.m. by the way. So I will see you guys in the morning and we get to explore a little bit more of Skopje. Have a good night. Good morning from Skopje. So remember I was here yesterday on this cross and it's a beautiful day. And uh, look at the view from up here. It is gorgeous. You can see all the way to the Ottoman side of the city. So I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then we'll start exploring this beautiful city and see what else we can see here. And So it turns out that Skopje is not a city for breakfast because all the restaurants told me that the kitchens open at 10 o'clock. Who eats breakfast at 10 o'clock on a working day? Who? So I'm gonna go get something from the bakery and start the tour then.
This is the old bazaar of Skopje and this is the largest in the whole of Balkans. Only second to the Grand Bazaar of Istanbul. While this was not the most populated city, Skopje actually gathered a big bazaar and some caravanserai because it was at the crossroads and people from different directions used to come and stay here. There are even pictures of people staying here with their camels. So it's quite interesting, a great thing to walk around. And I'm gonna show you something interesting, which I've never seen before. Let's go. Honestly, the best way to explore the old bazaar is to actually get lost in its streets and that's exactly what I did. You get to see so many different things that you wouldn't anywhere else. A lot of gold, a lot of bridal shopping, a lot of traditional stuff, but also places that have cute bars, restaurants, etc. There are two hammams in Skopje. This is one of them, but they're not functioning hammams. They're actually exhibition spaces for art now. So I'm sitting in the courtyard of Caravan Sarai with two really, you know, cats who are not really bothered at all. So, this is part of the old bazaar and since there were you know a lot of movement from around the place this was sort of the motel in older times so caravanserais were used to you know people would come here they would park their donkey their horse their camel whatever have you and then they would just store their goods on the lower floor and then upper floor was used to house the people and then they would sit in the you know the central courtyard tell stories, talk about politics, whatever. And remember, I told you a little bit about the tolerance in the society here. So I find this really interesting because if you come here today, so on the top floor, on the three sides, is a madrasa where they teach Quran and Islamic studies to young girls, mostly Albanian families. But on the fourth side, this is a nightclub and it's actually quite a few nights where it's actually a gay and lesbian nightclub. So they, I like how they make it work here. It's so nice. I, I mean, it's a contradiction, but it's an amazing one. So maybe a lesson to be learned from Skopje. <laughs> This is the second hammam that I was referring to earlier and this is in the beginning of the old bazaar area when you come from the stone bridge. Now, I find this really interesting because this obviously was built during the Ottoman Turkish era and then you have two other buildings in the same space. This is the National uh, Philharmonic um, Orchestra and this is the Brutalist national opera and ballet and these three buildings together create such an interesting space in i mean Skopje keeps impressing this is really interesting by the way this is not a functioning hammam either it's an exhibition space and an art gallery now 
So on normal days, you can come and visit it. You can totally drink tap water in Skopje in most of Macedonia. No need to buy any bottled water. I'm standing on the old bridge of the stone bridge of Skopje and this is one of the symbols of the entire city. But I'm going to show you the bridge in a minute. What I want to talk to you about is that impressive looking wall over there. That is the Skopje castle. And that was built initially quite some time ago by Justinian, Emperor Justinian. And then it was rebuilt by the uh, Ottoman Turks. Sadly, there was an earthquake in 1963 that was of magnitude nine and that destroyed most of Skopje. That also included pretty much every standing building inside the castle. So while it is going through some archeological research, there's no proper buildings inside. Yes, you can go for a stroll, but that's pretty much it. Don't expect a lot. I am sitting in the compound of Mustafa Pasha Mosque. It has a beautiful rose garden and a tomb. And the mosque is from 1492, 15th century. It is a renovated mosque that is still functioning. So you can come here to pray. And it has a beautiful, rather simple, but very elegant architecture and style inside. But beyond that, what I really like about North Macedonia is there's quite a huge Albanian population here and there are some tensions, but from what I've gathered so far, people really like each other. And despite what the politicians say and there are, you know, tussles here and there, people do like to, you know, live together. And in a city like Skopje, hearing the bells of the churches, as well as the call of prayer from mosques, it's not uncommon. It's really refreshing in a world today where we just don't tolerate things. I find it really nice. So let me tell you a little bit about Skopje. Yes, it's the capital of North Macedonia and it is the largest city. Actually, half of the country's population lives in Skopje. It's only 2 million people and Skopje has more than 1 million. So interesting, eh? It's a great city to come explore. It's cheap. It's great value for money. It's tons to do around. Um, it's, it's great to explore. There are tons and tons and tons of statues larger than life in all directions. There are bridges, some really quirky things. If you don't trust me, I'm gonna show you some of them. So let's start with the first one. Nope, I'm not in Paris all of a sudden. This is still Macedonia or Macedonia as they say it here. So this is the Victory Arch and it's quite recent. It's nothing to do with, you know, Roman times. It was part of the project to beautify the city center, to make it more appealing to locals and tourists both. So we have to go from this arch to get to see the most famous Macedonian. Let's go.
I am in Macedonia Square and this place is huge. It has tons of statues, including my favorite gay icon from history, Alexander the Great, or Alexander Macedonian as they know him here. Was he Macedonian? Yes. Was he from here? No. The current North Macedonia is not the entire area of the Macedonian Empire. And he was from Pilla, which is located in northern Greece in a province named, drumroll, Macedonia. Crazy, isn't it? So Greece sort of made them change their name to North Macedonia. Does anyone care really outside Greece and Macedonia? I don't know. I don't think so. But the people here are not happy about it. So it's crazy. But what can you do? Equally gorgeous and very lively at night. I'm standing in front of the house dedicated to one of the most famous residents of North Macedonia. And no, it's not that gay guy. I'm referring to her, Mother Teresa. So she used to live in Skopje up until the age of 18 and then she moved out to Dublin and then later went on to India and became Mother Teresa. But she didn't used to live here. She used to live, she used to live here right between the Victory Arch and Macedonia Square. Obviously none of this was here and the area was rearranged during the socialist period and she came back once to plant this tree in the memory of her family. This is the Macedonian Parliament and this is a statue of Prometheus. It's really warm today, which means we can spend time in Matka Canyon, right? It is my last day and I've explored quite a lot, so it's time to chill a little bit and I'm heading to the Matka Canyon. Again, if you want to see how to do these two activities, you should check out my video. It's quite a fun thing to do and you will get more information there. This is all from Skopje, my friends. I will see you in the next video. Until then, you have a beautiful day ahead and don't forget to check out my other videos from North Macedonia. Bye!